Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. That's the source of my biggest consternation, my biggest pain in the butt for the last week. My, my wonderful tower. Let's, uh, that's it there. That's my i7-3930K tower. And uh, I know for those of you neat freaks, you're probably um, looking at the state of my office and thinking, wow. But hey, you know, Einstein, all of the greats, they were all messy. That's not the point. The point here is that, let me get the computer back in the, the shot. There it is. That sucker has been crashing on me like crazy. At first I thought it was 4K, just 4K, but then it was crashing for everything, even just 1080 shots. So, um, I started diagnosing it. I wiped the system like I used to do back with, you know, XP and previous versions of Windows where you would wipe it regularly. So I did a clean install. That didn't work. I did that about six times trying different things. I thought it was a driver conflict. So I was trying reloads and getting all the original drivers, rolling back drivers, updating. Nothing was working. I tried lots of different things. Um, and then somebody had mentioned they thought it was a power supply. And originally I thought, well, it doesn't seem to be a power supply. It seems to be crashing right in the video editing. And then that made me think, and I thought, well, I thought it was the video card, but maybe it's when the video card starts drawing power and then it's causing the power supply to um, be overexerted if, if, if the power supply is failing. So I basically narrowed it down to because I ran all the tests, all the software, uh, speed fan tests, like the temperature seems fine on the card and the motherboard um, and my CPU. So I, I don't think it's the CPU. It's only during video editing and it's the CPU temperature seems fine. Everything else, all the stress tests, everything I ran seemed fine. So in my mind, it's down to two things. It could be the video card, but it seems more likely that um, the person that commented and said it might be the power supply, the PSU, was correct. And I think it might be the power supply. So... It's, uh, it's this guy here. Let's uh, go over and have a look. So, the culprit here is that guy right there. Let's see if we can get a tight shot in there on it. So, it's an OCZ 700 watt power supply. Now, this one is, uh, uh, the model is the OCZ 700 MX SP. And this thing is probably about four, almost five years old, I think. I'm, I was trying to think of when I built this machine. The i7-3930K was the top best value six core processor at the time without going to like the Xeons or whatever they are. Um, so I'm saying about five years, maybe a little over, maybe somewhere between four and a half, five years. So anyways, I thought, well, the power supply should be good. I thought about a decent one. I realized, um, I'm not even sure if it's, I think it was bronze certified, but it's only a three year warranty. And then I was talking to some of the guys at the computer store and they were saying, well, some of the OCZ drives did have some issues. So I thought, well, not drives, power supplies, sorry. But I thought, let's change it out. So what did I get? That's the new power supply that we're going with. This was highly recommended on Amazon uh, from the guys at the store. This was the one fella that seemed quite knowledgeable. It was his top pick. This is the Corsair RM650X. So it's a 650 watt power supply, which should be more than enough. I know it says here that it has a seven year warranty, but they actually have a 10 year warranty. I think this might be an old box um, or, or like the older packaging. I'm not exactly sure why that showed that because if you go to the Corsair site, 10 years. Now I sized it out with an even bigger video card because I'm gonna be getting a bigger video card. And the 650 should be plenty for my needs. So I'm running three uh, SSDs. Um, I have a, a, a several um, hard drives, you know, conventional spinning hard drives in there. But I'm going to be moving more towards these guys here. Those are my four Western Digital My Books. So I'm going to be switching basically all my storage drives over to that. So there won't be a lot of drives powered by the PSU. Basically just the three SSDs, maybe four SSDs, uh, which are lower power consumption typically than a, than a hard drive, a spinning hard drive, and maybe one other hard drive. Uh, and then I'm, gonna, I'm looking at that RX 480 video card that we were talking about recently. It looks amazing. And um, so anyways, we're going to put this, um, 
what is that thing again? RM650X, the new power supply into the beast, into the i7-3930K machine, and we'll see how it goes. I've got 32 gig of RAM in there as well. Uh, I'm going to, it's, uh, for those of you that like specs, it's an Asus uh, P9X79 Pro, I believe it is, motherboard. And uh, I'm going to maybe bump it up to 64 gig of RAM. I thought, well, you know, if we're doing the power supply, let's do the power supply. I'm probably going to buy this new video card anyway, simply because of the value and get into a really nice video card capable 4K. And let's uh, bump our RAM up. So, I mean, I've had this machine without putting any money into it for almost five years. So, a little tune up and this hex core, uh, this processor still is ranking with the best of them, it seems, on benchmarks. So, let's just tune it up a bit. Put in a new power supply. It's got a 10 year warranty, it's a gold certified. So we should be good. You know, you got the Japanese transistors, capacitors, all that, all that uh, uh, technical jargon. So it's supposed to be, in other words, just really good parts in that PSU. And very highly rated, this Corsair. And then we're going to bump up our memory. I believe it's Kingston um, Fury, Hyper Fury X or Fury X uh, RAM I have in there. It's DDR3. Um, four 8 gig sticks right now. We're going to go to eight 8 gig sticks. Uh, and then we're going to get that RX 480 when the price settles out. So anyways, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions about the power supply, if you have any suggestions for other things I should do on tweaks, for those of you that are really computer technically inclined, I used to, I mean, I have my A plus computer certification. I used to build computers and stuff. I just don't do it as much anymore. So I have to try and stay current every time I want to solve a problem. But anyways, it's it's always fun to get back up to speed and see what's going on. Uh, if you have any questions about the power supply, about things like this, about the card, anything like that, let me know in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, let's have a discussion on it. And uh, I'll let you know how things go. We'll see if the power supply solves this problem. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com. And oh yeah, uh, this was the long weekend for us, July 1st. Uh, right now, I believe it's July 4th. I'm not sure what day this video is going up, but for you guys. Um, so, I know some people are like, why are you wearing the sunglasses? Well, first of all, it's morning. I'm jacked on coffee already, so I'm feeling great. But, I have morning eyes, and it was I was on the boat all yesterday, which was fantastic, out on Lake Huron, up at Grand Bend. But, I have raccoon eyes from uh, wearing my sunglasses and I got a lot of sun. I'm actually, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm kind of pink. So, it was a great day out on the boat. But, I decided that the sunglasses uh, not only uh, help me out in the morning here, so I don't have to squint for the lighting to keep the camera rocking, uh, but also um, it just uh, hides my raccoon eyes from over sun exposure. I should say over, I'm not really burned, I'm just a little little red. It was a great day out on the boat on the lake. Loved it. By the way, G7X video here. Kind of vlogging style with the G7X Mark II. For those of you that are wondering how it's going, really liking this little camera. Uh, I've got the vloggy screen flipped up right now. This is the audio and video from the G7X Mark II. So, once again, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com. Thanks for tuning in.